The Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day number 300 of a daily deck review. And yes, you heard me right, we have finally made it to day number 300. So with that being said, the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Gold Artisan Playing Cards from Theory 11. So with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we'll get. But before we start, these are still fully sealed in that cellophane, so we're going to have to crack that cellophane. There's no pull, actual pull tab here, like most like decks, but you know, there is like this big little like, tab on the back that we can kind of lift off and crack open. So now that we have that off, here we have a gold artisan playing card here, and a nice shiny tuck box here. It's more of a matte finished tuck box, like a matte gold finished tuck box. So it has like that kind of like pearlescent kind of like gold shine to it. And you got the gold foiling on top of that, which says gold edition. It says trademark down below. It says gold edition artisan. And this is the Guild of Art Artisans Theory 11 Luxury Playing Cards. And you got the nice big spade there. And then you got the little the gold foiling border around. On one side, it says made in the United States of America with that fancy like cursive writing. Other side says made in the United States of America. So the same thing. On the bottom, you got just the standard like 311, like premium playing cards, 311, made in the USA, the 311 logo, and Circuit Trova. On the back, got a sneak peek of that back design, and it is fully embossed, so you can feel like the texture of it, and so is the front. The front is also textured and embossed. And for the seal here, these are from 2022, the 2022 edition, so there's different editions of the gold artisan playing cards and this happens to be the 2022 edition their edition number 2022 and up top you are guild of artisans that 311 logo with some stars and it is a black stamp style seal with the white like lettering over top and on the top it just says artisan there and now we crack press down that seal grab our handy dandy card opener and crack that seal for the first time here on the tuck flap it says something there and like i don't i think i'm not sure if it's like latin that the 11 uses i'm not entirely sure what language but then you got the artisan's kind of little logo there and then on the inner tuck flap this is that kind of like pearlescent kind of shiny gold colorway which is really shiny there in the light if we take the cards out of the box Oh. On the inside of the tuck box, it is just like a plain inside, but it has that kind of like, as you can see on like the tuck flap here, like that like pearlescent kind of like shiny glittery kind of gold colorway that goes through all the ins out the inside of the tuck box. So even though it's kind of plain on the inside, it's still slightly kind of cool looking. But now that we took a look at the tuck box. Time to take a look at the cards, and first we'll start with the back design here. Here we have what looks to be a mirrored back design. Yeah, it looks mirrored to me, so a mirrored back design there. It's like a black and gold colored back design with a lot of gold foiling there, and the standard white border. It's a little bit of a thinner white border, but still the white border. And as you can see, you kind of got that like main circle design there, with kind of like the artisans logo there, like the A and the G there. There. And then you got the Theory 11 logo just off to the side, and you got that kind of whatever language that is there, the little text over there. And then you just got that shiny gold there. With a little bit of accent of like the black and like the background of it there, like the shadows of it. And then if we were to flip it over, same design in both directions. Now for the cards you get with the deck. Here we start with the first Joker, it says Joker Joker. And then you kind of got that bottle cap style kind of little circle there, which is the, the Guild of Artisans, the US Plant Card Co. It says Jolly Joker. And then you got the little Joker character on the side with all the pips. And it's kind of more of like a red and gold, just kind of colorway. And I'm pretty sure that gold 
Yep, the gold is metallic gold ink. It's made in the United States of America. And then we got a second joker, which is identical. All the colors are the same. We got two identical jokers. And we start with that custom ace of spades here. And you got the nice big spade there. And it's in that gold foiling. You got some gold foiling on the spade there. Got that artisan's logo and then the artisan's there. Number edition. This is from February 2022. 0222. Gold edition. Trademark. There. And then the rest of this card is pretty standard. Like the rest of the spades are just standard spades. Nothing too crazy. And the court cards are just standard court cards. But they do have some gold metallic ink on them. There's something like a red and gold color with the black and white. And then the diamonds are just standard, just like a darker red colorway, which we've all seen. Same with the court cards, are just that kind of like standard court card design, just a red and gold kind of colorway. Same thing with the clubs, standard court cards, Jack Wing King in that gold and red colorway. The clubs are just standard clubs. And then lastly, the hearts, standard court cards with more gold metallic ink. And then the hearts are just standard hearts. But then the last two cards in the deck are two different style logos of their ad cards. So they're both the exact same ad card, just two different logos there. And now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. And first we'll start with the springs. And I gotta say, the springs feel pretty smooth straight out of the box. They have a nice bend and flex to them. They're not overly like stiff, which is really nice. Left foiling has no issues. It does not make the cards any thicker than they need to be. They have a good bend and flex to it. Like most people should have no issues springing these straight out of the box. So pretty smooth springs, and they could, the cards might be a little bit slippery, but we'll have to find out later. So now, now we'll move on to the fans. And you got that nice shiny fan there. Well, as you can see, they spread pretty evenly. You can see pretty much almost every number and every pip there, which is really nice. Well, except for the ones on the end, but now when we spread them, they spread like super evenly, like almost every time. Well, that's pretty nice. Super smooth and nice fans there. Now onto that Pharaoh. Pretty smooth area. They did lightly catch on each other, but still pretty smooth there. Interlocking wave, pretty nice. Now for a giant fan of that back design. Look at that nice shiny giant fan. Now for that reverse pharaoh. The first pharaoh wasn't as, that wasn't too bad. Definitely a little bit more like sticky and the, the cards caught on each other a little bit more than the other way. But still pretty decent. Like they lock them with pretty decent though. Now for a giant fan of the faces. Now time for the riffle shuffle or bridge shuffle. Well, there's definitely no issues with the wheel shovel or bridge shovel. Nice and smooth. There. Yep, they work pretty good. They might be a little bit of softer of a riffle sometimes, but they're still pretty smooth and consistent there. They'll even get more better the more you use them. 
That one was pretty good. So no issues with rifle shuffles or bridge shuffles. Now on to the few pack of cuts. Well, the pack cuts were pretty nice. They weren't overly slippery. They packed it pretty good. They were pretty much average pack of cuts, but they were a little bit more shinier than the normal pack of cuts. But still pretty average pack of cuts. Nothing like overly crazy there. Now on to that one-handed cut, or Charlie A cut. Now on to the dribble. The dribbles aren't too bad there. Nothing to go really crazy or special about it. But they're nice and smooth. No real issues there. And they dribble pretty similar. Either face up or face down. Which is pretty nice, pretty consistent. Now for that spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, like I say, I've been waiting a long time to, like, open one of these gold artisans, and there's no exception to it. These are amazing. For the back design, there was the gold, like, the full gold foiled back design there, which is fantastic looking. Got the nice classic artisans design there with all that gold foiling to make that nice shiny back design, which is fantastic. That's pretty much, like, the only custom part of the deck. Because as we saw earlier, that the faces are fully standard, but that's still pretty good because you can just use them as for card games or magic if you wanted to. Like, it was pretty standard for the faces, but then that back design, you got a nice luxury, like, back design deck with standard faces, so easy to use. But they still look good at the same time as you're using them. So, well, fantastic design, even though that they're standard faces. It's always nice to have standard faces every once in a while. You don't want too much customness within a deck all the time. Yeah. So that back design, the design like holds up for both the faces and the back. And then for the handling, which we just saw, I found no issues whatsoever with that handling. They're pretty smooth overall. Even for the foiling, the foiling does not affect the cards whatsoever. They're pretty smooth handling there. They're not overly slippery. But they're not like too like sticky either. So just like the right amount. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. This has been day number 300 of a daily deck review. And this has been the gold edition artisan playing cards from Theory 11, and I'm the Canadian Card Collector, signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!